Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, like I told, like, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm from a small hood in Marcy. I come from a project. I come from nothing like people. Gigolo with Nick Cannon. I'm a Gigolo. Really I mean, who wasn't an R. Kelly fan before we knew what he was yeah. doing? Yeah. I was an R. Kelly fan. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. And, and Flavor Flav. Like, you know, I used to oh, watch the... Oh, um, the Flavor of Love. Yeah, man. That's a fact. Pimping, man. He was pimping. pimping. He was an ugly nigga, too. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it gave it gave a lot of dudes hope, man. First was Biggie. Biggie gave all the dudes hope. Biggie, like, once Biggie, everybody Biggie, saw Biggie. See Biggie gave girls, like, yeah. oh, shit. Like, really? This is possible? Yeah. Biggie gave every dude hope. <laughs> Then flavor flavors like flavor, what? Flavor. Man, I gotta get some money, man. DJ Academics. <laughs> 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 oh shit. He said DJ Academics, all type of niggas. All types of <laughs> That's a fact. So we go over there, we eat, and we're coming back to the thing and also we're just like, this is the fucking creepy thing that my buddy Al was driving, it was his car. So Roger's like, I'll be my friend. We stop and get a blowjob in the mood. He would always, he was one of those guys that would squeeze his ball and do that noise. I'd go for a dick suck and die. Oh, he would call me, dick. my last name is Diaz, <laughs> he would call me die. He would die and go for a dick suck. Let's go for a dick suck. And I'm not into hookers. I hey, yo, that's how we're going. I got a bad deal at the 1040 Club and I never went over there again, right? <laughs> so, fucking Roger, you want a blowjob? Now it's 4.15 fucking morning. He's like, yeah. Time. I go, Roger, where the fuck are we going to go? It's freezing. He goes, go over by the Mercedes dealer right there. There's a guy that used to sell pretzels and shit and hot dogs and sodas with the cars going into Lincoln Tunnel with pollution all around. If you've ever had a pretzel pollution, they're fucking delicious. Fuck the mustard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that exhaust on the pretzel is fucking brilliant. <laughs> Anthony Bourdain has yet to do a fucking show on the pretzel from New York City. The fucking old pretzel with a snot on it and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? That's harder than the motherfucker you're breaking it with a hammer at four in the morning. That's a pretzel, bitch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we eat the pretzel, we cross back over 11th Avenue, it's between 11th and 12th, and you make a right on 12th and right there, so it's 11th and there's all these old things there, and it was a fucked up neighborhood there. So we get back and the car's rocking, and he's in the back seat in the middle and she's sucking his dick, and blah, 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 blah. she's sucking and the tower is fucking rocking. And all of a sudden, she gets up, and he, she storms out of the car, and he comes out, and he's like, fuck you, bitch. And he comes up, and he's like, die. I gotta get another fucking blowjob. That wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking crazy are you, you know what 
know what I'm saying? Go, go get the other blowjobs. Noah's was standing on the corner. He takes this cute little boy, puts him in the back seat, he's walking spit with it. Roger was fucking crazy. Ooh. She's sucking his dick. You know, and next thing you know, he's like, guys, she wants to go to Jersey and party. I just want to go home to Jersey and go to fucking sleep. That's all I want to do. I don't just get me over the bridge. I'll jump out of the fucking car. You know, you want to go fuck a hooker, go be yourself. So he's like, here we go, get in, get in. So I don't hear her. She's like yelling or whatever the fuck. So I get in on this side, and he's in the middle with the chick next to him, and Glenn Conti, Stinky, gets in on this side, and then Al's driving over here, and Twed's is over here, and we're like, get in. And Roger's like, let's take this bitch to Jersey. And I'm like, sitting in the fucking car. I'm like, what is, blah, I'm enjoying it too. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm no fucking innocent bystander. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So we're like, let's go to Jersey and fucking party. We got this fucking hook. And she's like, Jersey? I ain't never been to motherfucking Jersey. And she's yelling and screaming. And she's like, Al, pull away. Like, Al, keep fucking going. Go through red lights. And she's like, Al, stop. Al, stop. Now she's sideways in the back seat. We're holding her. This is fucking kidnapping. We're holding her, right? <laughs> so finally she's like, what do you motherfuckers want? I'll give you my money. She goes in the purse. She takes out a straight razor. And she goes to cut Al. Oh, and I shit. grab her head to fucking pull it back, but the wig came off. She had this fucking wig, and I just, ah! <laughs> ah! And the head came off, but this, the wig came off. And then I see my, then I see my friend Glenn Conk just do a fucking punch and get like in the neck, and she's like, ah, 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 ah. We go through the fucking tunnel. They got cameras. We're holding her. She's like, ah, help me! <laughs> I'm sitting there, fuck you, bitch. There ain't no help now. You scared the fuck out of me. You know <laughs> Somebody, but she's scared the fuck out of me with this gunpowder, you know? <laughs> so now we get her out from Jersey and shit. She's like, I got money in my pussy and all this shit. I got money in my pussy. <laughs> and she lifted up her leg and like three bills came out right oh. up that were just coated in this thing that nobody would touch it. Well, like, yeah. I ain't touching it. Fuck it. So we're like, what the fuck are we gonna take? What are we gonna take? And we were crazy. We're gonna take her to Roger's house. She's like, no, my parents are still up. We're like, fuck it, let's take her somewhere, Roger. We can't. And she's like, I got your motherfucking license plates and all this shit. So we take it to Fairview Cemetery. Oh, we take it to the cemetery. Everybody's out there fucking freezing and shit. And she's like, I got your motherfucking license plate. Well, no, you don't, bitch. So we take her deep, deep into the cemetery. And we tell her, take off your fucking... She had like a moo moo on over the bikini. So she took her bikini on. We're like, nah, you can't fucking leave. You know, you don't want to leave here. And guys, you're looking at me like, Joe, are you crazy? <laughs> I was fucking 23. Not even. I wasn't even. I was still fucking younger than that because it was like 83 or something, right? So we got to We take a tube tube off, and I remember being furious about that fucking wig. Like my heart was still fucking. Like I thought it was an animal that was alive. I didn't know what it was. So we back up the car. We're pulling out of cemetery. Like what are we gonna do? We can't leave her here. My friend's like, fuck her. You know she knows the deal. She's a hooker. That's the fucking deal. Sometimes you get mugged, you know. And I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> Don't say that word. <laughs> So finally she's like, fuck you too, motherfucker. I remember your face and I was so pissed I didn't want to hit her, so I just took the wig and lit it on fire. <laughs> and I remember that I, I stayed till I watched the fucking wig burn to the last Chinese hair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even think it was Chinese hair. It was some animal mixed with something. That wig, and I stayed there and looked at that wig and looked at her like, I got you, bitch. Yeah. And we left her there and I never forgot about it. It was like a bad fucking thing that was tucked away. That's why I did drugs all those years, dipping away that story. But then you stop doing drugs and all of a sudden you're in bed with your mask on. You're, oh fuck, I mugged a hooker in 80 fucking <laughs> <laughs> then, you watch, then you watch cold cases shit and you're like, this motherfucker could trace my shit back. <laughs> She's probably at the Philadelphia police station right now saying there was a chubby guy who looked like Fred Flintstone and shit. <laughs> took my wig, he's fucking responsible for that wig, you know what I'm saying? And I went home, and I was like, what would make me burn a woman's wig? Like, it fucked with my insides, you know? It's fucked up, man. It's time to get the hell out of here. You guys were a great audience tonight. I appreciate you guys coming out. I appreciate Sal's comedy, but Sal's a good fucking man, bro. Hey, man. Yeah, that was pretty good, man. Um, Joey Diaz, man. I'm always intrigued by his stories, man. His right. stories is just so good. Yeah, I literally have time. a movie about his fucking life. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Honestly, yeah. There's a lot. Just when you thought you heard it all from Joey, you haven't. You really haven't. Yeah. He got some wild stories. He's a wild boy. Yeah, honestly. He's a wild yeah, boy real. back in the day. He got stories on stories, right. man. And um, 
And he's funny too, man. Like, like I said, man, I, I always enjoy Joey Diaz, man. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, holla at your boys. Don't trust our opinion. We're out. I'm, I'm from a small hood in Marcy. I come from a project. I come from nothing. Like people are very, 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 um, very poor. That's where I came from. And to be not only a star in your neighborhood, and to be a star in the world, 